Only on 12, an effort to keep medics safe on the streets. Earlier this month, we told you about a medic who was attacked in North Portland. It was just one attack AMR medics say they are seeing more of, and now medics are being trained on how to better handle those kinds of situations. Fox 12's John Hendricks was at one of those trainings today. He joins us live after getting a look inside. It's very fascinating, John. Yeah, it's very, very interesting, the training that these medics are going through. They're basically learning self-defense. Some 500 AMR medics in Oregon and Southwest Washington will be doing that training. The goal to keep the medics safe if they ever encounter a dangerous situation. You're out of the way. Inside this room. Line of attack here. Lessons to add to the toolbox. So now he has to reset before he can attack again. Lessons to keep local paramedics safe in the face of danger. Create enough time and space to be able to get away. This group of men and women learning the ins and outs of self-defense, how to defuse, escape, and evade any sort of attack. And then the same thing if he comes in low, then you would block down. And then this arm would come up over. Yep. The training comes following an increase in the number of medics who've been attacked when they are simply trying to help. August 12, two AMR medics were attacked. One punched, the other sprayed with mace in North Portland. Last February, police arrested a knife-wielding man who they say jumped inside an ambulance and attacked a medic. You know, we work in an uncontrolled environment. We go into people's homes, we work on the street side, um, and we don't always know what we're walking into. AMR says each year, EMS responders are called to over 3 million calls for help across the U.S. They say they are seeing their injury rates higher than the typical average for all workers. And we're out there to help people and um, take care of them when they're in crisis. They say this training here today is important. Lessons to keep those charged with saving lives safe when they're doing just that. It's not okay for us to, to be hit or, uh, you know, sworn at or, or have people call us dirty names and stuff like that. This training is mandatory for all AMR's folks who work in the field. They say the training will be complete by the end of the year. Reporting in studio tonight, John Hendricks, Foxville, Oregon.